Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly convert your Kubernetes manifests, manifests for like deployment, service, config maps to Helm charts. So Helm, if you don't know, is a package manager for Kubernetes, which basically helps you manage, manage your Kubernetes applications. Uh, you can define, install, upgrade, and even maintain different version of your application using Helm. So Helm actually gives you a facility to easily manage your application and that's why most of uh, the Kubernetes application in today's time are actually managed by Helm. So instead of having like multiple Kubernetes manifests YAML file, you just have to maintain Helm charts, right? So let's see how we can do that. So suppose, uh, for example, I have created one very simple deployment YAML and this is what I'm going to convert to Helm chart. Uh, just in the similar way, you can have multiple YAML files, say for service, for maybe config maps. There will be like a lot of things that you might be creating uh, using YAML file, like namespaces and everything. You can convert everything to Helm, right? Uh, before proceeding, I actually need to, you need to do one thing is uh, upgrade the version of Helm. So for that, let me just copy a command because I'm using Killer Coda and the version of Helm they have does not works very well. So it's 363 and we don't need this this version. So let me just do and since Helm is a binary. If I just delete this binary, we should be good. Let's do that. And let me just grab the URL to download the Helm installation script. Okay, so I'll just copy this and copy and paste this command. What this command is going to do is basically download the script to install Helm. We'll do chmod plus six. And then we'll just run this. And you can see this is downloading 3.14, which is the version which we are looking for. And now if I do Helm version, yeah, oh, come on. Where has it installed? Where did my hand go? Uh, okay, let me just check. I think it has put it in user local bin helm. Not access. Why? What is the problem, man? Oh, I'm doing an LS. Okay. Yeah. That's why. But yeah, it is there. So yeah, it's 314. We can move it to path. But uh, I mean, normally it is always in path. The user local bin. I'm not sure why it is not path. But anyway, no problem. All right. The next thing what we are going to do is we are going to do helm create my app so this will actually create a directory called my app and this directory will have a lot of other folders and files so if you just do so you can see you have values.yaml which basically you use to pass values to your uh, templates uh, your manifest file right and then templates are basically where you keep your all your uh, kubernetes manifest and then charts basically has if you have dependent charts and this chart.yml you use to maintain the version of your uh, application or your release what you call in helm so we'll not go into the details of helm because this is not a helm video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move my deployment.yaml file to my app templates uh, deployment.yaml all right and then i'm just going to cd into my app to and then we'll go to templates and we'll do a vi on deployment.yaml and now we'll start configuring it so for name so let's get the name of our release. So how you can do that basically is I'll 
do include this is basically a inbuilt function and I'll say let's do my app dot full name again an inbuilt function right and I'll tell it the correct con the context basically which is current context for replicas I can do because replicas I will be fetching from values.yaml file so I need to tell it that you need to get this values from this value basically from values and inside values.yaml uh, you'll have to look at look for the value called replica count and we'll just go into values.yaml also right same way if you come down so for container name we can leave it as is but for image we can do so in the values.yaml file you should look for something called image and image would basically be uh, having multiple parameters so look for the parameter called repository and then separated by colon because if you remember the format in which the image is given is basically the repository name colon the, uh, the tag right so and again in the values file look at the image and look for the tag right uh, you can configure other things as well if you like like labels and stuff but I think for this I'll just leave it as is and now I'll go to values.yaml file and since we did an helm create you can see helm actually understood like what values we want so you can see we have a replica count right and that's what we told it like in the values file look for replica count and current replica count is one similarly in the values file look for the image uh, image section and under image section look for the repository right and also look for tags so currently tag is not there so I'm just going to put latest here and in the same way you can configure your values file as per your Kubernetes manifests are like so you can put any value which you want in the values file and you can configure it as is right see like if I had been if I had a service I can configure the type of service port and different values right for config map also I can do that if I had ingress so a lot of things it has already populated rest you can put on your own right it's not like you cannot modify values.yaml file you can modify values.yaml file so now let me just save this and I'll come back a directory up and now to basically how I run my application right so in if I had a deployment file I can simply do kubectl apply but with helm what I can do is I can do helm install and I can call it first release and then I need to give it from where I want to run my release and that's my app ah, again user local bin and you can see it actually it was very quick uh, if, if you have a bigger application it sometimes takes time but now you can do kubectl get pods and you can see your first release is already running your the pod is already running uh, yeah I think let me just do kubectl get deployment yeah my first release my app so this is the name which we passed in the uh, if you remember the include function which I use right so that's how I pass the name that 
release name and the app name which was basically coming from the full name uh, inbuilt function so i think yeah that's pretty much it that's how you can basically move your kubernetes manifest uh, yaml files to a helm chart uh, but i mean this is the straightforward process you do a helm app create and you just simply move all your yaml files to templates and then you just templatize them that's pretty much it i mean if you look at all the helm charts that's how that's the way they are built cool so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching